disciples. So getting into today's episode, if I was Martin, I would have made it very clear to, to Michael, I don't care. I'm not scared of you or your little five foot daddy. Okay? I don't care what you what you got to tell him. I did my job my job as an attorney. Whatever I whatever I discuss with my client is between me and my client. You ain't messing with my law license, and I don't give a damn about what about your little threats. But Martin caved once Michael brought in Sonny, and Martin also said the facts that Carly's the one that should have been in jail, because Carly is the one that should have been in jail. Michael said, "Well, my mom made a mistake. She was just trying to help." Uh, Nina, do it, but uh, you, but your actions did a lot of, did a lot of harm, to, to all my family members. So what? No, it was Carly's actions that did it. Cause Carly, just because Carly's an idiot, don't mean that you gotta go messing with Martin's career. Like now, he did his job. And that's what Nina hired him for. So Martin really shouldn't have said nothing. Because uh, uh, Martin's already protected from Sonny. Because all Martin got to do is just give a quick call to Laura. And then Sonny has enough respect for Laura to shut that down. He's not going to be like, oh, no, I'm not going to touch Martin. Because he's Laura's brother. And if and, and if he did go against Laura, then you can go to you can go to that little demon Santa Claus Cyrus to get out, to get out of Sonny. Or to at least distract Sonny for a while. So I'm mad as how that Martin just um, caved like that. I would have never. F, F him. Little entitled bastard. Ugh. Michael makes me physically sick. I hate him. What a passion. And such a hypocrite. Because you got your own secret from Sonny. Since you want to talk about Big Bad Sonny, why, why, why won't you, Big Bad Michael, go tell Sonny why you hired Dex and what evidence you had against Sonny at one point. Why won't, and how and how Dex got rid of that in a public trash can. Why won't you tell Sonny that? Tell him that. Go ahead, Big Bad Michael. Since, since please, but he recorded, he recorded um, Martin's voice on that. That just pissed me off. Don't mess with Martin's career. Don't be messing with, my, with people's money like that. I mean, messed up. Martin did his dang job. And Carly's just an idiot, like I said. She did this to, to herself. I don't care. If he would have found a different way to, to get at Nina, then I'm cool with it. But, no. I'm pissed off at Michael because he went with Martin. And want to use a little five-foot munchkin. Thinking that he's... Rules the world, please. Scared of you? Mm -mm. Ooh, that's why I'm glad Miss Wu is in. Miss Wu need to. The writers need to level up Miss Wu. Let Miss Wu take some power away too. That's just a separate issue, but still. Miss Wu rose to prominence. I'm tired of. Everyone shaking in their boots. It's stunning. Yeah, he's supposedly a mobster with a heart of gold. But I'm not even mad at it. It's not even just Sonny. It's more Michael that needs to get knocked down several pegs. Some harm needs to come to Michael, finally, because he's a jerk. But um, Wiley and Willow... They had decent scenes together. Um, we briefly saw the baby as well, Amelia. At least she looked the right age now. Unlike when she was a newborn, she looked like she was 16 to 18 years old. Now, the new baby that they have is actually a baby that's around the same age. So, I'm happy about that. <laughs> But, but yeah, then we had, then we had Sasha and Cody. So, um, Cody, Cody looked real sad that Sasha announces that she's leaving, even though I doubt it. 
I mean, the, this cast is bloated, so if she went for a little while, I wouldn't be too too broken up. I mean, who could blame her for wanting? Who could blame Sasha for wanting a fresh start? Cause she done been through hell the last several years since she arrived in that town. It's like when is enough enough? But Cody was opening up to her. He revealed to her that he's Max's son. But the reason, the main reason, he um. Uh, isn't telling Mac because he doesn't feel worthy of Mac. So. Um, but that's not true, Cody. I mean, maybe maybe at first you weren't, but um, it just doesn't work that way. You don't get to say whether you're worthy or not worthy. I mean, you can't help who you're born to. So. It is what it is. Yes, Mac is a good guy, and yes, Cody has grifted tendencies in the past, but I like Cody now. I think he's just being a little too rough on himself. He'll be all right. Just tell Mac the truth. And I know that the actor playing Mac is sick, so they're probably going to get a temporary Mac recast, but I hope they do right by this story and let Cody and Mac bond. Properly, I mean, Mac already cares about Cody now, so I don't see too much drama coming out of that. So just rip off the Band-Aid. They dried that out long enough. That's how I feel about that. But I do want Cody and Sasha to become a couple. That'd be cool. That would be. And Lucy wants to replace Sasha, wanted to replace Sasha to face a deception anyways with Blaze. I mean, that does make sense because all Sasha's headlines would be a little much for people to trust her in that. And I think Sasha could just use a change of environment, maybe a new career path for Sasha because being the face of deception just wasn't going to work. I don't know what else she could do, but she's capable. Let's give her anything. I mean, she came to Port Charles and she's already mid 20s, so who knows what college degree that she already has. Or, you know, not that that really matters on this show. Shoot. No, on this show, she could, she could be dang near pre med already. I think. They should give her a change of career. Somewhere. She could fit. Into this show. And that would be good for her. To get that new. Change of scenery. And Carly. And Sam scenes. I mean. Carly admitted she is a little salty. That Sunny married Nina. But she's over Sunny. But. He's married to, the, to her enemy, so of course that stings a little bit. And you're gonna sting in any more once once um Kylie hears the famous words of Mama Nina. Whew. That still don't sit right with me. I'm sorry, it just don't. It won't. It never probably never will. Mama Nina, the hell out of here. She didn't give birth to you. I don't give a fuck if she married your father or not. She didn't raise you. Either. I mean, like I said, I don't, I don't like Mama, Car uh, Mama Carly either. Ava's the mother, but Carly has been there with Avery from day one, so. Practically the beginning, so. I have no choice but to accept it, but with Nina, how now? That cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs, lunatic. But Nina and Sunny, I skipped the majority of their happy, their happy wedding scene. They're happy to be married to each other. The end of that. Sunny's biggest mistake. Is continuing. I still can't believe that they actually went through with that wedding. I thought for sure that that 
wedding was going to get broken up by now. I didn't think that was going to go down. But surprise, surprise, it did. He's married to that crazy lady. I cannot stand her, though. I can't stand her. I can't stand Michael. Can't stand Jocelyn. Even though Jocelyn gets a temporary pass from me right now because she's helping out my Ava. So I have to like kind of show her a little bit of gratitude, but not too much. I still hate her. But Michael needs to get knocked down several pegs. Ideally by a truck. 18 wheeler. Damn, that's cruel, but I don't care. And Blaze and Christina. Ooh, Blaze was looking good in that dress. I mean, Christina kept asking stupid questions. A little bit. Oh, what are you doing? Oh my gosh, like, how are you in Puerto Rico? Like, how? what do you mean how? Obviously, she's, she's a musician. So. It's crazy. But yeah. And like I said, and, and Martin, before Martin got summoned, he did meet up with Lucy. Uh, Lucy's waiting for Tracy to get her karma. Uh, that makes Lucy and everybody else waiting for Tracy to get hers. But I don't care. And Kylie confirmed she, she never trusted Gladys. Of course not. No one trusted trust Gladys so she's happy that Gladys is never going to step foot in Port Travels again from her lips to writer's ears we don't need Gladys back I don't not at all I don't like her not even as a good villain she's just no she serves no purpose. She's not really related to any any one. She has no important family relationships. Like, so what? She sent his cousin, and I don't mean nothing to me. So, there's no need for her to be around ever again. But, yeah. Now that was pretty much everything in today's episode. Let me know. Oh, no, Ma Maxie, Maxie did did show up at to Sasha at the end to encourage her, try to encourage her to stay, but Sasha was, kept shutting her down. So, but we all know Sasha and Cody are gonna be a couple at some point. At least I, we are, we could all hope. I do like the chemistry. But I heard of another twist that Cody and Sasha could be twins. I mean, they hadn't really gone the romantic route yet, so it's not too late for that, and Sasha sure could use a win. But nah, they're probably going to go the romance route. Either way, I'm happy for them. Sasha deserves a break. Nice long break, she do. Now, now that's truly everything in this episode. If I missed anything, now let me know in the comment section below. Let me know what you thought about this episode in the comment section below, and I will see you all later. Have a great day.